yo yo what it do youtube it's your boy spray paint back at you with another video man the other half of it's time for that culture for the street podcast match that like button so this segment here is about thf bezu wanting to catch the fade with trenches news and king ak-47 now where all of this stem from y'all know trenches news you know ever since he been up under the gun up been labeled a snitch you know, he been out for blood with everybody that's been trying to expose him. And King AK-47, you know, that's one of the most brutal, popularest bloggers it, it is out there. You feel me? That I always touch up on that Chicago scene, you know, that let us know what's going on. But here's the thing. King AK-47, he spoke on the, on the case with King Von, Bezu, and Hella Bands. A little dirt. Now this case, all four went down, and a victim was shot. At the case of all of the evidence was pointed at little dirt. Everybody thought little dirt was going to prison. The case went on. Hella bands ended up passing away. King Von ended up passing away. And the prosecutor said, if King Von was alive, he would be charged. Now this way is confusing that because there was four suspects on the case. So everybody like, okay, if all four of these was labeled suspects and then when King Vaughn passed away, how is it that nobody ain't get in trouble? Now Bezu, now Lil Dirt, you know what I mean? They got away scot-free. Everybody want to know how is this possible? You feel me? But THF Bezu, I guess he couldn't take it no more because you know King AK-47, he ain't got no filter at all. However he feel, he gonna call the spade a spade. But THF uh, Bezu, he said he got 10 to 20K to fade them boys. Now King AK-47, he woke up and said, you know, he ain't scared of Bezu. You feel me? But on another note, I just don't see him putting up no 20K to fight THF Bezu. Because this some YouTube junk. And on another note, King AK-47 ain't the only one that done reported on that subject, bro. Like, you can't single, you can't single him out. It's a million bloggers that talk about this case all the time. And everybody want to know, how is it possible that y'all boys got out? Now, me on another note, I already know how Fulton County rock. You feel me? Fulton County is the land of milk and honey when it come down to violent charges. Like, <clears throat> niggas don't do that much time. And how I know is because I was in prison with a lot of niggas that was sentenced from Fulton County. Niggas don't do no time like that. But... On another note, y'all got to think about it now. Niggas been putting bodies on the dead. That's been going on since the 80s, the 90s, the 70s. Like, that's an old school tactic. It probably might be new to y'all because y'all ain't never seen it before. But, man, please. Man, niggas been putting bodies on the dead. But on another note, y'all drop a comment below. And let me know how y'all feel about THF Bezu wanting to catch that fade with Trenches News and King AK-47. I'll be back with y'all boys later on, man. I'm gone.